Hello, I'm Bob Moore with Supermicro. We're here today to talk about the Supermicro Twin Family product line. Joining me today is Bill Chen, who's a general manager of the system product management team. Bill, thanks for joining. Thank you, Bob. As well as Josh Grossman, who's the principal product manager for the Fat Twin that we have here as well. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Bob. All right, so gentlemen, this has got to be probably one of the most amazing, substantial announcements we've had in, in years, maybe decades, all based on the new Intel fourth generation scalable processor, which is really powering these new systems that we're going to talk about here today. So let's talk about, since we're calling these the twin family product line, we got the fat twin, the big twin, the grand twin. Let's talk, Bill, first about this architecture and what makes these things twins. Sure. So basically the twin family that the, the uh, multiple computing nodes share the same enclosure, and not other than enclosure, share the power supply and the cooling fan, uh, that, in, that create the twin family. We have a twin family. Uh, twin product line for more than 15 years already. Right. So these are our new uh, latest uh, uh, generation of a twin family. So basically we have a, a big twin, grand twin, and a big uh, and a fat twin. So for the big twin and the grand twin, these are the two U enclosures sharing the either two node or four node uh, for, the, uh, sis, for the system. And the big twin have the um, uh, four computer inside and the hot swappable from the rear side. And the grand twin is all found serviceable, so you can remove the uh, system from, from the front side very easily. Nice. Right? So this is basically the twin architecture. For the big twin, because this is the um, uh, more, most powerful uh, twin family system we have, you have a two uh, Intel fourth generation Xeon scalable processor inside per inside the system. So for each node, we can have a two CPU, 16 DIMM, and multiple uh, PCIe expansion slot for the uh, uh, networking. Right? So for the uh, big twin system, it's very good for the um, uh, cloud data center mm -hmm. because you have a multi multiple, multiple nodes inside, so you have a higher density, and also you have, have a lower cost for everything. So it's very, very good for a hyperscale uh, cloud data center. And also, um, this machine is also very good for HPC, which is a high performance computing, because you have a dual uh, powerful uh, CPU, and each one can go up to 350 watt uh, from the uh, system. And at the same time, you have a 16 dim memory, can have a, a more than two terabyte memory inside. Wow. Right? At the same time, you have a very powerful uh, NVMe or PCI Gen 5 ready. So uh, for the uh, PCI Gen 5, we can see that we have a 12, uh, 24 drive in the front side. So we can have all Gen, Gen 5 NVMe to have a high performance uh, storage as well, not just for computing. We also have a good for high performance uh, storage. That's for the um, uh, big twin HPC. And the last one is that we are, like I want to mention is that it's for HCI, which is a hyper-converged infrastructure. Because normally for HCI application, you need to have a minimal three computing nodes. And the number four, and the fourth node, we can put like do like a hot spare node, right? So for the, this uh, two U four node machine, it's very good for HCI appliance uh, application. Okay. Nice. And for the grand twin, uh, compared to big twin, very, these two systems are very similar. The major difference is that the grand twin support a single processor. And the difference is that a single CPU, we also have a sinking team, same as the big twin, because we have a, we support a two team per channel uh, for this uh, system. At the same time, um, compared to big twin, the major difference is that this uh, system is front serviceable and the big twin is a rare serviceable. At the same time, the big uh, grand twin will also have a two different flavor. One is a front I.O., the other one is a rear I.O. The front I.O. That means that we have the uh, networking, uh, all the connection in the front side, and the rear I.O. means that all the networking are connected to the rear side. So the front I.O. is good for the customer edge computing or uh, for the telco company. Uh, because we, at the same time, we developed the DC power supply to support the grand twin. So for telco application, also good for the uh, uh, grand twin as well. I picked up a lot of workloads, uh, telco, edge, hyperconverge, HPC, cloud, a lot, lot of uh, applications for that. Josh, let me get you over here just briefly. Uh, same architecture, right, but then uh, slightly different workload applications? Right, so these are basically cousin systems. They're both uh, uh, hyperconverged infrastructure and you know, Bill did a great job, so I'm not going to cover everything, but I will point out some of the differences. So this is one of our most successful battle-tested platforms. It comes in both a 4U4 node and a 4U8 node. This is the 4U8 node. Mm -hmm. So what that allows for is to have flavors both for storage and for compute. And because we've seen such uh, performance improvements with the fourth generation Intel scalable processors, we're able to use one, and our customers have asked for that for their deployment. So this is one processor and 16 DIMM slots. And we also have PCIe 5, 
with, uh, of, and I'll go into detail a little bit more, a little more technology later, later on yeah. that. But the, the, the key difference here, I think, is that it allows customers to standardize on one front accessible platform, both for compute and storage, with up to six or eight uh, bays for storage. So that's that's an exciting thing, and it's something that has made it- Very popular. Very popular, and, sure. and we're really excited to take this one to market. I, I expect great things. And, and of course, we're also building in all sorts of new kinds of security. We actually have a hardware root of trust that's compliant with NIST 800-193 that we built right into the BMC, and so it's built in here. We have attestation where we're attesting to the security and validity of the product from the factory all the way to the end user customer, and supply chain security with more products made in the USA than any of our competitors all made right here in San Jose. Sure, so uh, one exciting program that we've seen here at Supermicro is our Made in the USA program. So for example, we've got specific SKUs like the uh, Big Twin here that have been to an outside auditor that's confirmed that customs and border protection standards are met for Made in the USA. Right. So that's substantial transformation of the goods. And the benefit to that is for customers who are doing business with the military or with our government, they can benefit from those. But for many customer, we have a lot of internal controls that we're already using to meet those standards. So it's a win for everybody. It's really an exciting program. And if we've got customers that need that, they can come talk to us. So nice to know that we have we so can. many of these products made right here in the USA in our factory right here in San Jose, our very large factory that we right. have. So not only are these new servers secure, ultra secure, but they're also really energy efficient. And we've had green computing as a hallmark for a supermicro for a long time. Bill, let me get you back here and talk about liquid cooling, increased thermal design points up to 30 to 40 degrees C, and how that helps our customers when it comes to reducing their carbon footprint. Yeah, sure. So as you say that we talk about the green computing for many years, and we for the twin families, uh, um, basically that's the, the the good one for the green computing, because of when we start for green computing, we start on the power supply develop. We have all the power supply. Uh, reach the titanium label for the twin family also already. So titanium label power supply means a 90% plus efficiency for the power supply itself. At the same time, for the twin architecture, as I talked about the uh, architecture a little bit earlier, um, this is a sharing power and share the cooling fans. So by default, this architecture can save about 10 to 20% uh, power, uh, power consumption compared to the rig mount server, mm -hmm. right? So that's based on the architecture. And at the same time, we, uh, based on the, this, uh, this generation, we have uh, two different uh, cooling design. The first one is uh, pure air cooling. That means we use a system cooling fan to cool down everything. And our, based, on, our, based on our design, we can support the system maximum, uh, go to, can go up to the 38C. That means you can uh, increase your ambient temperature in the data center, maybe from 25C to 30C or even 32C. Uh, we call it free air cooling. So we can save a lot of operation costs. Uh, based on the uh, free air cooling design. At the same time, we also have the uh, liquid cooling design as well. We have a direct local cooling cold play design on each platform. So we can use a, a liquid, liquid cool cold play to cool down the CPU. At the same time, you can use a system fan to cool down others. So you can lower the fan speed on the system fan to reduce the energy and also reduce the noise level. So uh, basically, this is a good thing for uh, our green computing. Yeah, it uh, lowers the cost, operating cost for our customer's data center, reduces their carbon footprint, reduces the noise level if they're using liquid cooling for sure. All good things coming out from Supermicro. Uh, the Grand Twin has a lot of storage. You want to talk briefly about the more detailed technology with the storage and memory in the Grand Twin, the Big, big Twin? Yeah, so for Big Twin, this is a dual processor, um, two CPU, 16 memory, and the three PCI Gen 5 Elon car uh, for you to support different networking. In the front side, uh, we have a 2.5-inch drive bay. It can support up to 24. So 2U4 node, each node can support up to 6 drive. Mm -hmm. And 2U2 node can support up to uh, 12 NVMe drive. Right? For the Grand Twin, it's also 2U4 node. And this is a front serviceable. And the Grand Twin have a front I.O. That means a uh, connection in, in the front. And also, we have a two other bay can support storage. It can support up to uh, four, uh, 4 NVMe drive on the front side. Wow, OK. Perfect, and we use that building block approach, which is really key for us because it yeah. allows Supermicro to get these products to market much more quickly than a lot of our competitors. Josh, we use that building block approach, similar architecture, and you've got uh, a, a slightly different uh, configuration here on the storage and memory, you want to talk to that? Right, so on this config, we've got six uh, drive bays with two and a half inch NVMe SSDs. 
We also have on the 4U4 node, kind of the storage flavor, which has up to six three and a half inch spindle drives and then two in the back for a total of eight. And that's for those customers that want to have basically a standardized on one platform throughout their data center infrastructure. And that's exciting. And we're seeing that used in EDA applications. We're seeing it in big data centers where they have a lot of horizontal communication. Mm -hmm. And then of course the PUE benefits of having one single processor that's air-cooled makes, uh, makes for a very compelling use case for our customers. Uh, it sounds great and it's no wonder they're so enormously popular and all available now in shipping and volume, which is really great. I can see there's a lot of advantages. I don't want to forget this. So we've got uh, two AIOM AC, uh, OCP3 based cards. So those are standard based cards. You can get uh, up to two of those and then we've got one low profile slot. So three networking slots as well, which is exciting. Pretty significant, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so advantages, last advantages, Bill, you want to speak to density, one of them, the twin family kind of wrap up? Yeah, sure, for the twin family, we, can, we talk about the density. You can uh, save the space and also have a, a better efficiency for the power. So you can uh, have a great, we call green computing. Sure. At the same time, you have a lower the PUE for overall data center. Down, PUE down to about 1.05. 1.05. Oh, Pretty six. substantial. Okay, super. Well, gentlemen, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I've learned a lot, and hopefully it's been educational for everybody watching. Thanks for spending a little of your time with us, and we'll say goodbye for now. Learn more at www.supermicro.com. Thank you.